Hello, uh, today I want to talk about a new study of the uh, Bertelsmann Foundation uh, that is a charity of the um, uh, Bertelsmann publisher which owns the Ransom House and a great deal of other businesses that you might even know uh, and can look up if you if you choose to and um, they are as charitable as the Clinton Foundation they are pursuing their own <laughs> businesses so um, the new study is suggesting that we need an intake of about 260,000 immigrants every year uh, in the following years on average. Um, but as it turns out, they don't actually mean that um, they are all the, the immigrants that are supposed to, to come here. Uh, this is just the addition to EU members that may move into the country. Um, so these 260,000 immigrants are in fact just some uh, non-EU uh, citizens that are supposed to come here. And uh, the justification is that our birth rate is declining and that we need young uh, labor to, to work for us. They put, <coughs> they put extra pressure on us by claiming that um, even if uh, their pipe dream of a completely uh, feminist society where reality and men and women would work the same hours in the same positions, uh, we would not make up for the lack of workforce that results from our low birth rates. And uh, if we chose to work in our into our 70s, we would still not be able to make up for it. Um, but um, on top of all of this, they make it more ridiculous and claim that um, they expect a sizable number of specialists to come from all these Muslim and African countries. <sighs> uh, for one, the immigrants will not be highly uh, uh, specialized um, workers and uh, secondly, um, I don't want highly specialized workers, and there I'm in a stark disagreement with the AFD that is proposing the Canadian um, immigration system and is called far right because uh, all the media agencies, Reuters, AFP, and so on, believe that proposing the Canadian immigration system is far right extremism. And I am far to the right to them. Uh, so I have to explain why. And it's not your typical explanation that is always this heart uh, warming. Um, oh, all the doctors taken from Africa will leave all the children ill. Um, no. I uh, have a different approach. I don't actually want them here. I don't want them here for one reason. And that is, academics tend to accumulate a lot of power, and that means they will change our society more strongly so than your um, low-level skilled worker. And while your doctor and your um, lawyer and your engineer may be uh, very modern and very Western and, and all of this, um, their daughters, their board daughters, are nowadays sent to some uh, taxpayer-funded Islamization studies we call Islam Science. And I'm not kidding. Islam Wissenschaft, Islam Science. Uh, and they turn up on, t on TV to lecture your daughter and your son what is and is not Islam. What is and is not racism. And we can't have this. We could have this if we had not left on the back. You can have either leftists or Muslims. I can deal with one, one craze, but I can't deal with both crazy people at the same time. If we can discuss everything that's going on in those communities, to the benefit of Muslims, by the way, um, 
that would not be a problem. We could solve every single problem with the Muslims that are already here. But unless we can uh, do this, uh, but unless we, we can do this, uh, we have to uh, bite our uh, tongue and uh, just uh, shut uh, down all the immigration. When that is done, we can go into the nitty gritty of what is Islam and what is not. But I'm sick and tired of having par on parallel debates about every single verse in the Quran, a book that I don't care about at all because I think it's a bad book, and um, uh, discussions um, on uh, how I'm a racist when I'm uh, complaining about things that are not in the Quran, uh, but that still annoy me and are still part of their culture. Uh, it does not even have to be in the Quran, and I don't want, I don't want this discussion. If you don't have these people here, you don't have a whole lot of mafia here, you don't have a whole lot of pedophilia, pedophilia here, sorry for the stutter. Um, you have a hell load of problems less if you don't bring in so many people from, from countries that are troublesome. And if we say they come from uh, war-torn countries, and this is what, what's going to, to be, I mean, uh, if they say, oh, they come from uh, somewhere outside the EU, your crying child uh, propaganda picture will turn up uh, again and again and again, unless all these war-torn people are come in, those psychic, um, psychologically damaged um, Muslims and Africans, they will come in and they have experienced uh, violence all their lives. It is what they know and it is what they continue to do. It's a fact. Uh, I'm sick and tired of, of, uh, of this discussion. If, if you're not having the very same discussion about basic statistics with Muslims, you will have them with leftists. If you don't have them with the left, you have them with Muslims. And you can either have idiots from one group or idiots from the other group. You cannot have both groups expand. If we could take all leftists out of the country, we can discuss with Muslims uh, how, you know, how in a jar of, of balls and you have 20% um, red pills and 80% uh, green pills and in another jar there is a different uh, uh, distribution and you you take pills from this char to the other char, you end up with more green chars on the, on on this side and less on on that. I, I mean, this is this is easy, you know. This is basic statistics. But when it comes to crime rates, somehow um, the, the intellectual people uh, tell us that we are all crazy, um, and we cannot have this, right? We can either have Muslims or leftists. We cannot have both crazy people to grow. <sighs> and I know that this is unfair. I have leftist friends, I live in a country where everybody is basically leftist, I have Muslim friends, and so on. And your individual can be sane. Your individual can hear you. But the problem really is, if you have a mass craze, and if you have two groups with mass craze that are constantly infecting each other, a phenomenon you also see with anti-Semitism, by the way, if you have these growing groups of crazy people in your country, you cannot allow more in, particularly not more potentially influential people in. That was it for today, and I thank you for listening. See you.